meteorological data such as rainfall is so important for crop production. Farmers need to know the onset, duration, and cessation of rainfall. During rain season, we know what we are going to plant and what method we are going to use. Last season, rain was too much. Water was standing in the garden and it destroyed everything. Of course, there are so many problems when the weather becomes erratic or unpredictable. This rain of today is, is, is really um, out of the ordinary because when you look at our seasonal forecast, it is supposed to start uh, raining uh, right after at the end of this month. The onset of our rains have changed, the cessation has changed, the distribution of the weather across the seasons has changed. We've seen loss of crops, loss of life, like in the case of Gududa, and the flash floods, and therefore the the issue of climate change in Uganda has become more real. One person came and told me that the land side is going to occur. Then for me as a chairman, I wrote my, I wrote my report and take it to the what? To the sub-county. After reaching there, when I'm coming back, they told me that the run site, it has already occurred. When I reached this way, I found when some people, they have already died. The number was eight. They has washed away 23 houses. The community keep on fearing that it will happen again. Early warning systems use meteorological data. We need to have uh, internet for easy transmission and the onward the dissemination of this information. So that extreme weather events are avoided. Well, I think historically Uganda had one of the um, best meteorological systems uh, but uh, because of so many issues, changes in government and, you know, civil war, uh, most of the weather stations had gone down due to poor maintenance. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why this project has come in to try to build the capacity. There is need for very strong early warning systems uh, in terms of giving weather and climate information and disaster risk reduction. So we found that, yes, our meteorological services did not have enough stations to generate information or data which can be used to come up with reliable products for Alewone. Where the stations were, we didn't have very good telecommunication infrastructure to pass on the data to the center for analysis in time. With the advent of this project, the focus now has been addressing some of these gaps. The data that is taken from this water level monitoring station is used for long-term analysis and it can enable uh, the professionals to predict when, say, next time they can expect a flood. It can help them to plan at the right time so that they are assured of their harvests. It can help them to prepare, you know, mitigation measures so that they are not fatally affected. When it comes to our, like, Vision 2040, most of the things that they've planned are so much dependent on weather and climate. 
So if they know how the weather and the climate is going to be, we can really know whether we can be able to achieve the objectives. Using the mobile technology has come up to, to transmit the data which is being captured at those field stations to the center, but also them being updated with the forecasts of the day. And they can share this kind of information with the people around them. We always hear information on the radio. We can start planning what we are going to do in the garden. We make a trench so that water can, can pass through without destroying our plants. All people have mobile phones in my fridge. They get that information, then they know what, what will happen. We try to plant trees and uh, digging terraces. We plant also elephant grass so that the soil cannot wash it away. I'm quite uh, optimistic with all this uh, very targeted, very focused support to strengthen meteorological services. I know five years from now, we are really going to see a very responsive uh, meteorological services to the needs of this country.